Hey guys, sup, 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 Ryu here for the Yu Gi Oh! Council and for Yu Gi 514, who is joining me right now? Yay! And also Greg the Mermel. Who is oh, a little. Hello, how are you? Sorry, I'm <laughs> Okay, it's so okay, it's okay, it's okay. So, we got some Yu Gi Oh! news for you guys to lay out upon you. The Pendulum Summon is out, it explains how to do it. And I just want to get Man. to this image real quick. Look at that. It's like, confusing. what in the f? It just, like, it happened. Confusing as hell. So, so you I, I haven't I haven't heard any of this yet so Greg Okay Marmel, basically about, there Greg basically basically this is still new to me too there'll be a coffee time I these guys act like spell cards in a way but there's a new like the mat's mm -hmm. going to the mat's going to have a new slot just for the pendulum summons and obviously oh, wow wow obviously they they have like you can see from the image which I have in front of me but I, I don't think Greg has it in front of him I, but I, I'm looking at it right now Okay so basically it, you have two cards on like the side in between where the graveyard and deck is and where the field and extra deck zone is. So it's kind of weird, but let's get into what they do. A pendulum summon zone has been created on the field and one's on the left, one's on the right of the monster and spells and trap zone. You can pendulum summon monsters, uh, yeah, you can place pendulum monsters, will be placed there and they are treated as spell cards. When they are placed there and have spell effects. So I guess like, oh, guess what? You guys gain all a thousand. You guys get to blow up stuff. Kind Pretty of stuff. Much. Okay. Pendulum monsters have a scale number on the left and right of the card text. Let's look to the image again and see if we can actually spot that. Okay. Yeah, you can um, see it on the... Uh... Where it has two, you can see it on um, that card. <clears throat> I want to say that's a diamond, but I'm not even sure. It looks like a diamond and a ruby. No, sapphire so, and ruby. There you go. Okay, yeah. Totally confirmed for a remake. Oh, um, <laughs> okay, when you place the pendulum monsters on the field at different scales, you can special summon from your hand or from your extra deck pendulum monsters with the scales in between. So, does this mean we'll get Synchro Pendulum Monsters, or Exceed Pendulum Monsters, or just like normal Pendulum Monsters, or stuff like that? Because that's what I'm getting off this. Because again, th maybe this is just theory, me be me. Look at that image. It has a monster effect, and it's a Pendulum. So, I'm trying to put those two and two together. So, maybe we'll get like Pendulum versions of already like stuff like Stardust and whatnot? Who knows? Hmm. Well, maybe not considering that... Um, Koyo Guardian's gonna be the new pendulum. Pen don't, oh, don't go there. Don't go there. <laughs> Maybe not considering the fact that Pendulum Monsters do go in the extra deck um, after a certain time, or like when they get destroyed, something like that. I remember correctly. True that. Yeah, when Pendulum Monsters are sent from the field to the grave, they go to the extra deck face up. Yeah, so that so, that's a little weird, but uh, you can special from your hand or from your extra deck Pendulum Monsters with the scale numbers in between. So I'm guessing we can read Pendulum Summon monsters that have already been used because they count as spell cards. But does this yeah. open the door for the monster to be MST, kind of like artifacts? I'm kind of wondering that too. And as per the picture, if you Pendulum monster with a scale uh, 1 on the left side and 8 on the right side, per example, the blue is the left, the, the ruby red is on the right. So you have a level on each one of those sides. And the number will be underneath as shown per the picture, which I'm going to pull up one more time. Here you can see the one there, you can see the eight kind of thing. Um, it's saying that, if I'm not mistaken, I'm losing my place here, you can special pendulum monsters with scales two to seven from your hand or extra deck. So sort of like a minimum maximum scale number, which is just a weird game mechanic. Uh, I'm going to have to edit that out. People, people who are saying that Synchro is an exceed driven fusing, yeah, this takes the cake. <laughs> okay. The one thing I'm still trying to find out, and I'm going to pull this open so it doesn't like pull up my Facebook feed, um, is how do you explain this in like how to play Yu-Gi-Oh videos? Like everything has to be redone now. It's like you gotta um, sit there, take an hour just to explain this like overcomplicated game mechanic. Yeah, you might have to make this its own video in order to do. Pretty like, much, that's what I'm planning to. But for all the new people out there, because I know there are people on the council. This is just talking to the council subscribers real quick. Yeah. Trust me, we will get you through this, I promise. You will love this game at the end of the night. <laughs> We're learning with you. Yeah. Honestly, I'm kind of excited for this, but at the same time, I'm scared because we all know how Konami likes to break the game mechanics. Um, in Dragon <coughs> Rabbits? In Dragon Rulers? Yeah. So, um... 
I, I'm just looking at this like odd because it looks something out of Duel Masters. I know I'm going to get flamed for that one. But oh, like, God. okay, they, they have the I rainbow mean, color cards. Oh, it reminds me of Pokemon DCG game a little bit because you see the pendulum slots? Yeah. Like, kind of reminds me of the prize cards. Yeah, Pokemon. that too. But I, I also like how um, when everyone is talking about pendulum summons before we actually saw this, they were all like, oh, it's going to be like um, Mega Evolution where you just stack it on and they were close. <laughs> Honestly, they were close to that. They were pretty close. No, they were pretty close to that. I'm not going to lie. But we're going to leave it at that for right now because this video is going to be already long enough. And we will have a full-fledged coffee time talking about the this weird game mechanic. And we'll see you then. I'm ready for the Yu-Gi-Oh! Council. I'm waiting for... And Greg the Mermel. Who is probably dead. Yeah. So, if you like what you saw, make sure to subscribe to Yu-Gi-Oh! 514 and myself at the Yu-Gi-Oh! Council. I'm Ryu, signing out for both channels, and thank you, Yu-Gi-Oh! 514, for having me on yours when you post this there. No Peace. problem.